Speaking on that, uh, the state of hip hop today. <laughs> where you think is that, Cam? State. Where you think we are at this rap game right now? Um, uh, you know, of course, we we kind of we kind of had a state of in, in in commercial in the commercial expression of we had a, we had a state we had a flatline state. When you say flatline, you you talking about on the, on the the mental aspect of it. Um, um, yeah, as far as far as um, conscious lyrics or or lyrics that deal with responsibility or accountability or moral value or principle or character like flatline you know, flatline on that area in in a commercial the commercial rap gotcha underground rap always kept you know that that integrity or whatever but of course you know that's not really being pushed by the machine yes sir um but it's coming around it's coming back to that you know everything you know as it was in the beginning it's going to be in the end and we damn sure at the end so the way that it was pushed out the trunk and 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 the the um the intent or the the motivation behind what, what rap was even about the expression of dissatisfaction and injustice and you know trying to set shit right and all of that it's 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 coming back to that well, it is back to that you know as far as underground and, so, and, and I, in the I trunk. Feel you. So the only thing I would ask then outside of that is. You, you, a student of rap, I'm a student of rap, no doubt. Are you, would you say that you suffice for what you've done with your career in the rap game? Um, am I, am I satisfied? Are you, are am you, I finished or what? Not finished. I'm, I'm saying, uh, do you believe that the work you've produced so far, had, uh, if you was to stop today, would you be happy with what you put out there? Um, yeah, I, w I would be, I would be happy, but I know my greatest or my best impact is, is my best days are ahead of me. There you go. You okay. know, whether it's in, even in, in, in front of the mic or not, you know, it could be behind the scenes, just influencing mm -hmm. young, you know, young men is for war, older, older women is for counsel. That's even right. if I can count, if I can transfer my experience and, you know, Showing the youngsters how to avoid certain tricks and traps, and showing them what will be the wisest thing to represent and the wisest way to go about representing it. You know, I think those are my best days. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, I was on the front line. I, I pushed the line. I push, and I still, you know, I still got a few um, fights left in me. <laughs> you think? You know what I'm saying? But I can attest to that. Yeah, but um, I think, I think. Um, I would be satisfied. I would be happy because even if I didn't do what all I could have done, you know, in this in this rap shit. Not by your. Not that you didn't try. It's that the powers that be didn't allow it to say right, that. Okay. Right. I said what I wanted to say. No, no I, doubt, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I, I, Whether I it was that. pushed or marketed and promoted is different. That's a different story. But That's yeah, right. I definitely I feel like I was true to myself and I didn't compromise or sell my soul or my testicles or none of that other shit you know That's what i'm saying right. so yeah I, I i think i would be you know but that 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 righteous that integrity walk can be a real broke walk like you <laughs> integrity don't pay the bills not at all most times not like, at all. so you gotta you know if y'all want to be real and keep it righteous and real be, be ready to sacrifice be ready to get skinny like i am and be top rhyming the fuck out <laughs> I'm talking about top ramen the fuck out. <laughs> Nigga, not, not a dollar on top ramen. Ten and twenty dollars on top ramen. Yeah. Like me. Um, other question I would, I would pose to you is Are you done with rap? No, oh, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Rap is ever evolving. You know what I'm saying? Rap represent, you know, the. The, the, the cultural expression of the youth right now, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's an art form that's so attractive that you don't have to know how to sing, you don't have to know how to play an instrument, or, you know what I'm saying? You can say directly what's on your mind. It's not even like TV or, or movies where you have, to re, you have to bring to life somebody else's words mm -hmm. or vision, you know what I'm saying? Even though it is ghostwriting going on in rap, but... <laughs> Gang of it. But for the most part, it's direct hands on it. For most <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. But you can you can you can express 
what you are, who you are, and what you feeling, and what you know, what your ideas and concepts and all of that are. So, um, that's the beautiful thing about rap. You don't have to know how to sing. You don't have to know how to dance. You don't know have to have to know how to play an instrument. And your story alone can can be heard, and you can affect people positively mm -hmm. just from your unique fingerprint or whatever you went through in your life. Everybody right. got a story. That's right. So if you got the heart to tell it and you know how to you know stay on beat, you know what I'm saying, then you don't want to you can affect somebody positively. So that's why I love hip hop. That's why I love rap, I should say. And I think that it's the most powerful. It's no coincidence that this is the 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 cultural expression that's going on at the end of the world. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Because we all got something to say. You know what I mean? And this is the way you can say it. Rogers, Rogers. Give me three rappers that you would say you was highly influenced by or respect. Man, the top three in my book, well, it'd be, you have to be about five, but the what top ones in my three? book, I was influenced by Rakim, Chuck, Chuck D, Check. Ice Cube. Check. You know, we had, you know, a lot of history, ups and downs and all of that, but Ice Cube definitely is one of my top influences mm -hmm. um um i don't know if y'all would know about these other the, the other two but one is biz marquee you know what i mean just for st the style like and you know he didn't care about image or it definitely was different no doubt yeah, out, the box, out the box thinking no doubt so um and who the last one would be melly mel Wow, like, that's right. Melly Mel. Check. I'd have to check that too. Yeah. So, and not in that order necessarily. I feel you. Because they all hit me in real crucial times in my life. They all shaped who I am and, and what gave me the heart to say what I say and take the position or the stance, you know, in, in the rap game that I took. So, there it is. That's I'm, I'm going to, you know, I had to roll with you out of four and five, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely. I'm, I'm like this. I, I do believe that your work, and I'm going to speak, you know, from a, a supporter of what you've done since your career started. Uh, when I was in the Bay, when you was doing what you was doing, when, when Peace Treaty hit, I ain't never seen another brother come out and do or have that type of impact on niggas from the street. And that's what, that's what to this day, I respect you from. You know what I mean? From the rip. That had to be respected. And if it wasn't, you're a motherfucking fool to not understand the gravity of that. So, I'm gonna say thank you, brother, for doing what you did. Real talk, real talk. And we ain't done, we ain't done at all. For the record, um, there's two soldiers sitting on this couch, no doubt. I know what my work is, and he damn sure know what his is. And uh, I'm gonna say, rap is at a good place for us right now. And you, we, like I said, when it's that time and that time is right right now, it's definitely, we in the works right now. When the floodgates open, it's going to be two soldiers standing and you're looking at them. Rondo and Brother Cam. That's what it is. Peace. Peace.